Anyway, <laughs> welcome to the Pan Rock. We have to be a little bit quiet because it is almost midnight and we are in a hotel here in Bulgaria. And the people listening just to the audio, just to let you know, you can watch on YouTube. So the people on YouTube, we wave at you. Thank you for looking at us. I know it's not, we're not in the best condition condition right now because we've just been teaching a, a class here in Bulgaria, which was fantastic. Today, we are, it's scientifically proven that the um, circle of important people around you is like a bullseye. Yep. You are the red mark in the center and then you have a circle of five people around you. Yeah, they call them clutch friends. Huh? Clutch, like when you're in a, when they see like somebody is so clutch, like in a game, you have that one hitter that you know if they're behind in scoring, yeah. they have that one person because they are so clutch. Wow. They always come okay. in. That's a new expression for you. But there is a lot of research that shows that what you truly need to be happy and what you truly need to ma maintain and give a lot of effort and energy to is what they call five clutch friends. Friends. Well, it could be family. It's yeah, just five, five, people. Five, people five people who are around you. Okay. If you think about when you're in a crisis, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who we consider friends, but they're not like the ones. No. That you know that you can call at any hour of the day, that when you need them, they are there for you. That's a tough question because mm -hmm. if I have to think about five people, Five people. Who would be the five people? Yeah. It would be you, my two sisters, Katy, mm -hmm. mm, probably my brother because I feel like I, even though I don't always hear or see my brother, yeah. I feel like he's somebody that I can call and he would help me out. Yeah, right he'd away. help you bury your body. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, just killed somebody. Listen, I need you. To, I need you to bury this body with me. Grab a oh. shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be the five people for you? <clears throat> Emily. Emily. Me. You. Brittany and Megan. And my fifth person. I mean, what's interesting is. It's it, it's kind of hard. It because is hard. They're, they're Maybe my be... like my brother Michael. Would be somebody who, if yeah. I was, of course, we're not talking about like our, our partner, our yeah, 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 significant yeah. other, but my brother Michael is who comes to mind. Where if I, you would call him for different things. My brother Michael is somebody who, yeah, 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 it's if true. I was in a crisis, if I moved, if I was in trouble, oh, he would. Oh, yeah, yeah, He's yeah. the oldest, I'm the youngest, and he's always cared for me as like yeah. that. It's so tough brother. to say it because now. We know it's on a public podcast. I know. So we know these people might listen. So we are we might be thinking about, oh, I'm, I got to say these names. No, but I think of like, I think of times in my life where I've been so lost. Mm -hmm. And I think of the people who I've cried with like ugly cry face. <laughs> well, you've done that with me for oh, yeah, sure. Oh, so many times. I've seen the ugly face. Uh, we were, we were talking about this during dinner. Tonight we just had such an amazing experience. We're in Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. And we truly try and, for the short time that we are in these different countries and different locations, we try and really experience it best we can. Yeah. We pack it with as much experience uh -huh. as possible. Instead of going to the hotel and doing nothing, yeah. we say no. We force ourselves yeah. to go and experience it and it always ends up being good, being good totally where sometimes when i'm doing an event somewhere where i know i'm gonna be back i'm like oh i'm just gonna hang out in the hotel room yeah. and it doesn't like it's like it stays more surface where tonight we're sitting in that restaurant yeah. and there's great music and great food and nice waiter great yeah. food we're together it's a beautiful restaurant a lot of people from the class were there yeah but we can be bothered about it or just accept it and say, hey, it's not, it's oh, not yeah. that bad. This is our life. This and is we our were, job. We were thinking about our friendship and how it was yeah. just such an instant. Yeah. No, no uh, struggle. Like mm. never like, it was like we met and we were like, okay, so what time do we do lunch? Or what are we <laughs> doing today? So, <laughs> yeah. What, what, 
What time do we get up tomorrow? Yeah, what's our yeah, plan? Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes you have those people in your life where it's, you don't it totally, to work. yeah, it doesn't fit like a hand in a glove. It's like, yeah. you have to be like, hey, well, what are you doing tomorrow? Well, do you want to get together? And we've yeah. always just had like, oh yeah, we oh. were a team right from the beginning. Yeah, we're, <laughs> I'm not wondering if you're coming no, with me tomorrow. Oh, yeah, to you're, me. <laughs> you're coming with me and I'm, we're just wondering where we're going to go. Yeah, just tell me the plan. So I was so, thinking of yeah. my friend Megan. Mm -hmm. The other day, she just had a baby. Congratulations, and, Megan. Oh, she has the cutest. <laughs> she's that. starting to get little chubby cheeks. And <laughs> Anyway, I was saying, hey, how are you? Because I think I'd just gotten back from out of town. And I'm like, how are you doing this? It's back to school. You have four kids. But I mean, and she goes, I'm drowning. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at Brian and I said, we need to go see Megan tonight. Yeah. And so I went over to her house. It was so simple. I just brought her some Oreos. And we went to her house and we, I picked apricots from her tree and we just hung out with them. And yeah. it was like, that is that person where when I'm in a crisis, there are, there are people who come yeah. to mind. Yeah. It's like that you know that they are, they are truly invested in your yeah. well-being. Yeah. It's not layered with things that matter for them. Now, of course, outside, if you're looking at the bullseye, you have those clutch five. Maybe mm -hmm. it's four, maybe it's three people. Mm -hmm. And then you have like an outer layer of great friends. 20, and that that yeah. could be, you could fill that up with 20 people. Yeah. 20 Amazing. people that you could still call, yeah. but they're and not the first need. people. Yeah, that you need as well. Yeah, 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 yeah that's like true. When you go home, you need to see Patricia, your friend Patricia. She's in that. I always want to call her something uh, else. My friend. Patricia. What is her name? It's not Isabel. Patricia. Isabel. I always try and call her Patricia. <laughs> my Patricia is my not, sister, but you I know, know that. But I know that's not right. I'm like, why is she always reminds me of a Patricia? <laughs> she is a type of Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, what's weird is that she and your sister are complete opposites. But it's just that there's something yeah. in her that I always think Patricia, and I know it's wrong. No. So anyway, when you go home, there's people that you need to fill in your bucket what are you smiling at you look so lean and fit in the video right i do yeah it's it's the it's neck. neck you have such a beautiful neck people tell me that you know people say that i have a beautiful neck i don't know why <laughs> it's very long yeah oh, no, oh. <laughs> oh <gosh. laughs> that was that. but you know the other day i asked uh my friend Lindsay and angela i said girls we need to get lunch emily couldn't she was busy but uh, Lindsay said, hey, let's not do lunch. How about we go to the pool? Lunch is on me. Come to the country club. And we had this great few hours together. Yeah. And it, I left feeling like my soul had filled up. Yeah. And you want to be careful of who you spend time with because yeah. you will either be drained or you guys oh, totally, will collectively totally. help each other rise. Yeah, and that is something that I actually do every time when I go to Bruges. I always, I go to Bruges for two reasons. To see my family and friends, one reason, and to go back to my house that I yes. have. And both is the same feeling that I'm yeah. creating. It's, it's my home. home. It's and home. I'm thinking, who are the friends that belong in my little circle of home? Yep. Bless oh you. my god, I got an allergy from you. Yeah. Are you allergic to me? Yeah, I gotta By take way, pills every morning. <laughs> I know my breath must be terrible. Oniony. We ate a lot of vegetables, a lot of weird yeah. chicken. <laughs> yeah, you love that. Gray lamb. We're, gray lamb and <laughs> weird chicken. No, your breath is fine. <laughs> Can you smell it at home? <sighs> So I think this is something that we want you at home to think about. Who would be, if you would have to name five people, who would be those five people who are that circle around you? Not thinking of your partner, boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, wife, not like that. But the five people around you, who are they? Are they yeah. family, your close friends from years ago that you don't always see? Because in, in my circle of five, there are people that I don't, I don't get to see. Yeah. Yeah. Even you. Yeah. Oh, do you miss me when you're <laughs> <laughs> No more eh, 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 eh. no allergy right reactions. So yeah. I, I think don't, of I don't I, have them around me like you. Yeah. You have people closer to you. You can go see them. Yeah. I have to take a flight. Yeah. Those five people I have to fly to see them. <laughs> that is so sad. <laughs>
I just feel so sad. So sad. You know, we are so lucky because we have seen each other probably once a month, which is crazy to have a friend who lives in another country and to see once a month for the past number of years. Yeah. We see each other once a month. Yeah, just about. Wow, oh, that's crazy. We're lucky we're always getting booked. Okay, so now I want to talk about that next step. You know, the, 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 the three levels of people you need in your life. And then the people who don't even belong on that bullseye. Yeah. And we are wasting a lot of time with people that don't even make any significance, but we're still giving them the energy. We're still giving them the power yeah. that they actually don't deserve. And we're just too scared to sometimes cut off. And you've done that. I mean, Brian once told you, why, when are you going to realize that these people are no friends of yours? Yeah. And it's something really it's, important to... It's so true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so true. Even though that sounds like such a harsh statement, but you have to be willing to be... In order to have a deep connection with somebody, you have to yeah. be vulnerable, and you have to be willing to be the real, raw, true yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you are either not getting there with somebody, it's not a fulfilling relationship. And if you are... Or you are feeling very drained. It's mm -hmm. not a fulfilling relationship. No. And it's okay. No. Just like you don't have a style of music. You don't like every song. It's okay to say yeah. that you're not gelling with every no. type no. of person. No. Exactly. We yeah. act like it's an offensive thing. But really it's a very freeing and empowering mm -hmm. choice to make for your life. Where you yeah. say, life is short. And I yeah. want to fill it with a deep connection with the people who really get have it. Have you me. ever had that you had to walk up to a friend and say, I'm so sorry, I, that you had to tell them that you cannot be friends with them anymore and say, look, you, I cannot have you in my life because you're just too negative, uh, too much of a negative energy? Or did you just say, okay, I'm just letting them go and not even going to contact them anymore? Did that ever happen to you? No, not really. Did you ever I, have that happen? I've had it with... Um, Somebody said it to you. They said, Steve, you are so no. negative. <laughs> no. Nobody Shame. ever said it. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> ever said it to me. But I've said it to, yeah, to a couple people. Yeah. I've said it to a couple people. I think I've had that conversation like, hey, I, I don't know what's going on, but every time we're together, I feel mm. drained. So yeah. either we need to change our topic of conversation. I, I notice with, for example... When I was a younger mom, it's almost like girls would get into these like husband hater clubs. Oh God! And they and you get into a, just a routine where all you do is complain, mm. and it's so it's so negative and it's so hard. Where yeah. like yes, of course those things are real and they're present in your life, but you whatever whatever you give attention to is what will grow. And so if that's all you're looking for in life, that's all you're going to see. And it just feels like a dead end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, relationship-wise, actually the people I told them, look, I never wanted to see you again. And I don't want you to contact me ever again are people I had a relationship with. Yeah. That seems Not all. Yeah. I, because the others, I have a very good relation. I mean, the others I'm talking about. The 20 other guys. <laughs> that's right. No. <laughs> But there are a couple that I said, I'm sorry, don't, no. It has to end here. Yeah, and don't contact me. Mm -hmm. And others that I go like, oh yeah, you're part of that circle of 20 people. Yeah, we will be friends forever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My There's... first boyfriend, not my first, actually it was my, my first true love. And I don't know if he will ever listen to it, but um, it was uh, Robert. How old were you? Uh, that was out of when high I, I was twenty, no, I was twenty-four, something yeah. like that. When I started dating, twenty-four, twenty-five, until I was thirty. Um, Robert from Brussels. Yeah. I can't be twenty-four. I must have ended it when I was twenty-nine or something, or he ended it. He was the love of my life. Oh my god, and I love him still very dearly. I've met him. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, at your birthday. Exactly. Fantastic, fantastic man. Oh. Be he's fantastic for me because he's one of the, my big loves, and I'm add other big and loves but after. But there's some people that you love for a reason that is 
afterward you look back at it and you think it was almost like a lust it was kind of toxic but he was yeah. someone that you loved and for very good reason yeah and he was very insecure about relationships so it, it ended up being in a, a way that we broke up for actually no reasons it's the reasons that were there were not correct reasons so he was easily somebody I could have said, look, leave me alone, no more, I got it. But I can't, the, the love for him was so big. And we still see each other and hear each other uh, once in a while or yeah. a text. I mean, once in a while, once in a year, twice in yeah. a year. But we can easily see each other and go out for a dinner and talk and <coughs> bless you. Now you're uh. getting an allergic reaction. <laughs> I'm talking yeah. about boyfriends. <laughs> so... It's, it's, and then I have others that I had a relationship and I know that is toxic. Yeah. So it's, you, you gotta be careful of when it could be people that you don't see or people that you see a lot. Yeah. It's the feeling that you have inside and it ended up being in an, in a, a, it ended up in an, a bad way, but my feeling never said that guy has yeah. is toxic. You cannot see him or talk to yeah. him anymore. No. So I just had this where one of my good friends was he switched his job and he said and so relationships can be so many different things it can be a love relationship yeah. it can be a friend relationship a family Lost. relationship yep so he had this job we're falling apart at the same time <laughs> <laughs> we're yawning sneezing coughing oh. <laughs> so he had this boss and he just said i cannot work with him He's such a, that's such a toxic relationship. And the thing is, you think, oh, well, your boss is not that big of a deal. It's your boss. Mm -mm. But when you work with them nine to five, oh, God. that's yeah. who you spend majority of your day with. And he's taking an hour and a half to go to work for this boss. So it's almost even longer than a full day of work. And he just said, I cannot work under this boss anymore. It is eating away in my soul. So he started looking for a different job and he ended up having a job that ended up working out and a good opportunity but he was hoping for maybe a different outcome of the pay he wanted it to be a little bit more and blah 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 but anyway he had to decide okay is cutting this relationship out of my life worth more than the dollar amount i was hoping for mm. i have to i cannot yeah, yeah, yeah. continue and there's certain there's certain relationships that you have that you it's almost like you know and you feel like oh so heavy yeah, after you're with them we're becoming a slave of society and a slave of money that we are scared we feel tied you, you, we feel that that is more priority on yeah. a relationship that is actually sucking our soul empty yep and we we've learned that but we've been lucky but we're not only, only been lucky we've been brave enough and having confidence to literally make the right decisions yep. not you i'm going to do that i can do that yeah that now 10 years later we're living a life that we go like yeah yeah this is the life that we want yeah. and still we have sidetracks that that it, or like it we need to wrong. adjust this we need to fix this but, but the root not, of who yeah. we are who are the people around us our job is actually very stable and <clears throat> again those five friends around us I, it's hard for me to think, do I have a relationship with somebody who is making my soul feel bad? No. Not really. I've gotten very, oh, you, almost too fast at being like, that person makes me feel drained. I cannot. No. I cannot be with them. No. It's really hard because I think, and maybe that's what traveling for your job does for you, is you realize that the time that you are, that is free for you to choose who are the people that are going to be in that time? Yeah. Mm, I'm yeah. going to be much more picky about it. Yeah. Because I just cannot afford it emotionally. No, no, no. Because it's going to, if it drains me on one end, it's going to take away from something else that yeah. I could be more fulfilled in. Yeah, 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 exactly. But that is uh, one of the most painful lessons of life is that every part of your mm. life is something that you have allowed. Okay, so if you're physically not feeling where you are, it's because you have allowed all these different choices. Mm. If you're in a relationship or if you're in a location, this totally, is what we talk totally. about in the fun Job, road, is friends. what are the changes that you need to have that yeah. make you feel the most fulfilled? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we talk about it, friends. Some some friends are like the roadblocks of your yeah. road in life because in the, in the training, the life event, by the way, we have one coming up in Boston, the mm -hmm. 20th of October. So you might want to check that out on the website, castandsteve.com. Go to Life Events. We talk about it there. 
one of the subjects is roadblocks and roadblocks is you need to learn to sometimes we see a roadblock and we go ah oh, okay just leave it there while you can actually very easy clean yeah. it up yourself yeah. because you know you you got to take this road more life is like that we have a lot of people in our life that are a roadblock and we just keep them having there where we have the decision or, to eliminate them or they are a roadblock because they are trying to teach us a lesson that we are very very stubborn yeah. and not wanting to learn like sometimes yeah. you'll have a relationship and you're thinking oh we just fight all the time and it's like okay but why is it something that they're doing yeah, or is it because yeah. it's time for you to change yeah. and you're trying to fight it? Mm, exactly. So sometimes it's that hard look in the mirror of yeah. like, okay, yeah. it's time for me to grow. I can handle this. Yeah. So at home, we want you to think about that. Who are the five people in that little circle around you? And maybe let them know. Send them a little text today. Say, look. You matter. Just, you matter to me. You're one of the people in my life that is really important. And I think it might make them day. Make their day. Absolutely. And hey. today... Hey, lady. Hey, lady. <laughs> oh, we were going to say what that comes from. So today we taught this big event. And I can very easily tell that group of people, like, you matter to me and you make a difference yeah. in oh, my yeah, life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're on a, maybe a different tier of that bullseye. But every person that you come in contact to fulfills your soul in a happy way. They matter because that's just another little totally. drop in your bucket yeah, of love. Yeah, and yeah, 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 exactly. So thank you again for listening You're because welcome. we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna round it up right here because we gotta be quiet because it's quite late. It's almost midnight, and we're still we're, we've been going on. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, look at that yawn. I mean, oh, uh, she ready to crash. Well, but guys, we didn't even land here. Not even 24 hours ago. No, and we're leaving in two hours or yeah, three we, hours. We no, two here. hours. We weren't even here to 24 hours. Oh my God. So anyway, we keep going. Thank you for listening. Please go to the website, castlesteve.com or thefunroad.com. Sign up for the GPS if you want to learn more. But... We cannot tell you what's coming up for 2020, but it is big plan. So stay tuned. Give so us a excited. rating. Yeah, please subscribe, rate it. You know, the amount of downloads makes a difference. So we are hoping to be able to give you guys what you need in this podcast and let us know what your ideas are and what you would really love to be focusing on as a topic. So yeah. thank you so much, you guys. Big kiss to you all. Goodbye now. Bye. Bye. Bye now. Bye.